Hey, I'm Scott, and I'm an American in Bangkok, and I got a letter. Actually, I got I got a comment, if I can find them. Uh, let's see here. And the guy writes, hey, Scott, you make some valid points. I've been going to Thailand for 32 years each year. Uh, 25 or even 20 years ago, before the year 2000, things were really much better. There were no families, only single expat men. Uh, Thailand was a secret and wonderful. It's changed in many parts, especially Phuket, Pattaya, and some areas of Bangkok. Part of the problem is also the social media, like this, like YouTube, and everyone is filming everything and everybody with their camera phones. I don't like it at all. There isn't any privacy anymore. Okay. Uh, he does have a point. Now, I mean, I came here in, what, 1995. Uh, it's really hot today for some reason. Air is cranking, too. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I came here in 1995. And I think if you were running around in the bar scene, and hanging out in the bars, and, you know, partying, and doing what a lot of guys do, uh, then, uh, yeah, it was better. I think it was better, because things were open uh, all night. Uh, the women, they all danced naked, or they, you know, they had the bottoms on and the tops off, and there, there was not, that was not a big deal. Uh, you know, you, I mean, there was all, you could do pretty much anything you wanted in a bar. Let's put it to you that way. And, uh, you know, the girls weren't quite so jaded. The people weren't so uh, quite so jaded. Uh, there were no families. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, uh, eh, not as many as now because they've changed who they're marketing to. Um, was Thailand a secret? Um, I don't know that it was a secret even in 1995. Um, but it was, it was wonderful and there were a lot less... Uh, tourists and people, a lot less expats uh, than there are now. I mean, now everybody's like, oh, I got to move to Thailand. I just saw this guy. He left me this nasty note about the, uh, about the uh, teriyaki that I made the other day, saying how boring the videos were and all this other kind of stuff. And, you know, I really don't care. It's like, sorry, it's boring, but some people like it, and I'm not trying to please everybody. If it's boring, it's boring. You know, hopefully the next one will be better. That's the way I look at it. And uh, anyway, so I took a look at uh, who the guy was, and he had this thing, I'll be moving to Thailand sh soon with any luck. Well, see, here's the thing. I didn't get here by luck. It wasn't luck. I said, damn it, I'm moving there. I'm going to find a way. I'm going to do it. And that was 23 years ago. So, you know, and, and, I, and I'm sorry to say this, but I look at it like this. There are a lot of guys who come here, they live here for two or three years, and then for some reason, they either they either just, they want to go home, they get homesick, uh, they can't cut it here, or whatever it is, they go home. Uh, I see that happen all the time. And what used to happen was guys used to say, yeah, man, I love it here. I'm moving here. And they move here, and they're here for a month or two. And then the next thing you know, they're like, well, you know, I don't think it's going to work out. And, and then, boom, they, they leave. Now there are some older guys coming because they know, you know, listen, if you got a little bit of money um, set aside, you can retire here. Uh, it's a good thing. Uh, I think in the past, a lot more guys that were young were staying on tourist visas and, you know, uh, I do think that Thailand was better in that sense. If you're going bar hopping, partying, you're looking for women, that kind of thing, uh, it was nowhere near as jaded as it is now. No, I mean, now it's like mainstream. Back then, it wasn't mainstream. It was, you know, yeah, it was there, but like, it just wasn't, it, you know, there weren't all these forums and and videos, and this, and that, and you know, one thing that he says here, part of the problem is also the social media, well, you don't see me going into bars, uh, videotaping, and I wouldn't do that unless I went in and talked to the bar owner, and had a chat with them, and, and f uh, figured out the ground rules, and set my own ground rules, I wouldn't do it, because first of all, it's a, it's a good way, if you get caught, 
at the right time and they catch you in there videotaping, they are probably, you're going to have a couple Thai guys beating the living shit out of you. They don't want people doing that. And there are signs that say, do not photograph, do not, uh, no, no filming. So, you know, well, whatever. Uh, I don't think that that's the entire reason. I think that social media, I mean, quite honestly, social media is a blessing and a curse. Uh, I don't even want to say it's a blessing for me. I mean, it helps me sell books. Um, you know, I'm not making a huge amount off of YouTube, but it helps me sell books. And indirectly, it can help. It, it, you get more exposure. It helps sell photos. It helps, uh, you know, you get the exposure, and that, that is useful because YouTube has a huge amount of exposure. Um, now, I don't have the exposure of, say, PewDiePie or somebody like that who's got millions and millions of, I don't even know how many uh, millions he's got now, like 20 million or something. That's incredible. Uh, so anyway, um, now, it's changed in many parts, Phuket, Pattaya, and you all, yeah, it's changed, but, you know, this is, this is, uh, I think it's in the I Ching, a Chinese book, where it says, the only constant in the world is change, and I believe that. Thailand is going to change, it's going to continue to change, and continue to change. It's going to morph into something completely different. And people are going to look back. Singapore used to be something completely different. Uh, if you want to see an old. What Singapore was like. Uh, say. How many years ago? 40 years ago. Uh, almost 40 years ago. Watch the movie Saint Jack. With Ben Gazzara. It's from 1979. So it's uh, 30, 38 years. I'm sure they, they filmed it like, you know, a year or two before. Uh, so about 40 years old. But you'll get an idea. Uh, Singapore used to be different. Um, Thailand was different. And Thailand's going to change. And it's going to change. And there's going to be a lot of things that people don't like. But there may be some things that people do like. For all the complaining that people do about how it's not as good, I will say that, you know, listen, they've got they've got uh, mass transit. Uh, you know, they've got good, uh, good public transportation system set up here now could it be better yeah maybe uh but you know 30 30 years ago they didn't have this so there are some changes that i think are uh, positive ones um and he says uh he doesn't like everybody with their camera phones yada 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 there isn't any privacy anymore well uh i hate to tell you this but if you are on a street or in a public area uh, you're fair game. Anybody can take a photo of you. Anybody can film you. If you're inside of a private, uh, uh, privately owned restaurant, go-go, whatever it might be, uh, you're not supposed to be photographed. <laughs> People still do it, though, obviously. Um, you know, one thing that I get all the time now, anytime that I, I am in Starbucks, almost every single time, I get somebody who's deaf coming coming up to me and sticking their little card in my face. Give me money, give me money, give me money. I'm deaf, I'm deaf. And, you know, I don't know, but, like, I don't know what the deal is with them. And I never give them any money because I just don't know. If, as far as I'm concerned, they could all be uh, just, you know, I, they could be scammers. I don't know. It's like the kids with the chiclets bubble gum. You know, they're, they're, they're passing out the chiclets and you're, they're taking all the money and that money's not going in their pockets. That money's going into somebody else's pocket and they get to eat, which, you know, I guess it's better than the alternative. But um, so he's saying there isn't any privacy anymore. Uh, well, yeah, there's less privacy now. I guess, you know, if you are somebody who is married and you come over here and you're like running around and you're worried about being caught on camera, maybe you need to be more discreet. I mean, you know, discretion is the better, what is it, the better part of valor? Anyway, that's all I got. So until next time, I'm Scott. I'm an American in Bangkok. Choke the flat jerk and mine.